Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. <laughs> you are fabulous. All right, so today's video, what we're going to be doing, I am working on the backdrop that I use for uh, my videos, like my haul videos, and then of course my intros and outros and whatever. Um, I've been working on this wall for like over a month, I guess. Just kind of like putting a little up at a time. I put up some lights, then I put up some dots, then I put up some more lights. <laughs> but um, I just, it just doesn't feel finished to me. I just cannot figure out what I want to do. And I really didn't want to add any kind of like decor to the wall. You know what I'm saying? Like no shelves or anything like that because I don't want it to be too busy. So what I decided to do, and I have no idea if this is going to work out or not, but I have got um, sheer curtains that I picked up at the Dollar General store. They were like $5.50, I think, per curtain, um, per panel. And I picked up three of them. And then I've got my staple gun. I'm going to show you all that because I just got this new staple gun. So if it works really well, then I'll let you know at the end of the video. But um, I'm just going to be stapling those curtains. Now, I could have gotten hangers and actually put the curtains on hangers, but the wall itself is pretty long. So, I wasn't sure how that would look. You know what I mean? I just wasn't sure about all that, and I thought, you know what? I could probably staple them suckers up there, and nobody would ever know the difference. So, that's what we're going to try to do. My biggest problem with um, the lights. Now, I love the lights, but as you can see here, like they kind of have fallen a little bit and just in different places. I just don't like the way it looks up across the top of the wall. I just feel like that looks, it just looks very unfinished to me. So I think putting those sheer curtains in front of the lights is really going to be pretty. I hope, I hope it is. <laughs> anyway, so I thought I would bring y'all along for this little DIY that I got going on today and we'll just see what what we come up with. All right, let's jump into it. Okay, so this is the new staple gun that I got. As you can see there it says Power Shot or Arrow T50 staples plus brads. So this is a Power Shot um stapler and I got this at Lowe's. I picked it up at Lowe's. It was about it was around $20, I guess. But I also have a set of the Arrow staples, and then I've got the Power Shot brad nails. I'm going to be using the staples for today's project, but I thought this was pretty cool because it is a dual, you know, gun, and it's supposed to be pretty easy to... Oh, it is really easy. Well, anyways, so it's pretty easy to um, squeeze, and that's something I always have trouble with. So, I'm hoping that this is going to work out really well. But anyway, so I'm going to be using this today, and I just thought I would show you all this since it's something new that I've got. And like I said, I picked this up at Lowe's. That's where I got that. And then for the curtains, let me just pull you over here to this table. So, um, the curtains I got, I've got the other one out of the package. It's sitting over in the chair. But anyways, so I got three of these uh, sheer window panels and they're just the they're just the sheer curtains i mean that's all they are they're just shears anyways um so i've got three of these i picked these up at the dollar general store they were like 550 a piece i think and i i really think they're gonna work out perfect for this so all right oh my goodness let's get to it y'all Okay, so I started at the one corner of the um, wall, and I actually flipped my curtains upside down so that I would have the smaller end at the top. Now, when I started out with this staple gun, y'all, I was using it upside down. It actually looks that way. Like, if you look at it, it looks like you're going to be squeezing it, and it comes out the other end, but that's besides the point. <laughs> this was so stinking simple to do. I literally just let it kind of hang and flow like it wanted to and just stapled it up there. I mean, super simple. I then took a dowel rod and just pushed it in behind the furniture that was there, but this was so stinking easy to do, y'all. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like. What do you think? I'm kind of torn. I like it a lot. I really like the sheer right in front of those lights. I think it looks fantastic. Just not totally sure what to do about this. See, I used two curtains. I have a third one left, but I only need a very, very small amount. 
so I'm not sure. And plus the shelf is there, you know, the shelves are there. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to um, take those up and actually put this across the wall and then put my shelves back on. So I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna cut one of those shears just to the amount that I need and then go ahead and finish this wall because I just feel like, let me get back here again so y'all can see. I just feel like that one spot is messing it up. You know what I mean? Like, oh Lord, have mercy. <laughs> I'm knocking stuff off in the sink. Um, I just feel like that one spot is like messing it up. But as far as the overall look, I love it. Now I know it's dark in here and the lighting's not that great, but I wanted y'all to be able to see what it would look like, you know, um, without any lights on and I've just got that going. Of course, I've got my uh, lights set up here. Now this is where I usually do my intros. My phone goes in that little holder and then I've got my lights, but I've actually got that set up because I have a, a Zoom call meeting um, in just a little bit. But anyway, so, this is what it would look like. That's how it's going to look in the background for my um, intros. And I I like it, y'all. I really, really like it. I feel like it softened it up a lot and it just kind of finished the wall. I just really feel like it totally finished it. Now, like I said, I'm going to have to finish that one little last spot there in the corner, but that's no big deal. I can pop that up there real quick. But yeah, this turned out fantastic. I love it. Okay, so I know this is a little bit of a very short video, but I wanted to share this with y'all, and I, I really want to know what you think about the um, backdrop now. So, let me know in the comments what you think about the curtains. Do you like it? Do you think it made it look better? Do you not like it at all? <laughs> I don't know. Just let me know what you think in the comments. I just wanted to share this with y'all. Um, obviously, I have changed clothes. I do have a Zoom call meeting in, like, oh my gosh, about five minutes actually. But anyways, I just wanted to share this with y'all. Now, the um, staple gun worked perfectly. Absolutely perfect. I love that staple gun. It You can squeeze it real easy. Um, it, it really worked perfect. Now, you got to make sure that you're using the right end because the way it looks, yeah, it it's backwards. But anyways, other than that, I love the staple gun. I think it worked out perfect. I got that at Lowe's. Don't forget, I, I got that at Lowe's. Um, and actually, you can probably get one like that on Amazon. So if I find one, I will, um, I'll leave a link in the description box for that staple gun, actually. And if it's not there, then just know that I couldn't find one on Amazon. Um, but you can get those at Lowe's. But I, I love it, y'all. I really, really love it. What do you think? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so don't forget, let me know in the comments what you think about the wall. Um, let me know in the comments. Also, leave me some tips on some different videos that I could do for y'all. Some more personal videos, just hanging out time. Just let me know what you think and what your ideas are. I would love to know. Now, I don't always respond to the comments because guys, I'm so super busy, but I do always read the comments. It's really fast to just kind of go through and read them real fast. Now, if I had to stop and answer every single comment, I would never get a video done, <laughs> but just know that I do read your comments and I love it. I thank y'all so, so much. You guys are the best, I swear. All right. Thank you again. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps my channel. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family and subscribe. That would be awesome. Plus hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. Okay, so I just wanted to show y'all, um, I got up this morning and noticed that the lights, they just look beautiful. They really, really do. So it's a little darker in the house this morning. Um, the sun's not totally out all the way yet. It's only about 6.30 in the morning, actually. <laughs> but I just love the wall. I'm so proud of it. I ended up finishing it. I cut the um, other sheer panel that I had. I just cut it enough that I could finish the whole wall. So I just went right down that side there and finished that up. Um, but I love it. Let me back up a little bit so that you can see the whole wall because it's just awesome. I'm, I so love it. Had a neighbor stop by earlier, uh, well, yesterday actually. And the first thing she said was, oh my gosh, I love your wall. When did you do that? And I was like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I needed that. I needed to know that it was super cute. 
but I just love it, y'all. I'm so proud of this, and it was so simple to do. So simple. All right, well, I just wanted to share that with y'all, so. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me, and y'all have a blessed day.